<laughs> okay, so the Avengers. <laughs> All right. Now, you're, what I like about you, you know, you're a girl who likes comic books. There are going to be more and more female comic book fans. I know, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, we're taking over. I know nerd girls are easy to talk to, but you but know But there's what? still only one f woman in the Avengers, Scarlett Johansson. That's, that's it. All, hey, that's all you Where's need. Where's the Wasp? Where's Miss Marvel? Wait, what, do you want to be like the superhero version of, a version of The View? I mean, you, know, you, <laughs> you only need one woman. Uh, Joy Behar can take down anybody. She, uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> with her mouth. <laughs> yeah. That's not nasty, but you know what? <laughs> You can't have too many women in there. They just mess up the program. You oh, know? them's fighting you, words. You better hope this one woman don't mess up things while she's in well, there. Well, people are worried about it because she does only have guns. And she's doing that like thing where she wraps herself around somebody. You see it in the trailer. I Did you like see that. that? Where she's just like, I give you kind of like a lap dance slash takedown. Well, what I, I find that, now we're talking about, what's that girl's name? Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. And you, you, you were talking like, like that's weird or something. That's actually... <laughs> That's, that's Everyone's actually, like, I want to fight her. Yeah. There's like a line to fight her. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this and thinking like, that's the most realistic part of the movie. So the format of this show is that we each are going to give our three things that we're the most, that we want to get out of the movie, that we're the most excited about, that we hope happens. My first one, and this, was, this, was, this one was inspired by the trailer. Uh -huh. I'm hoping that this movie, when it comes out, looks like a movie and not a TV episode. Uh. I was a little nervous from the trailer. Everything, like someone, I spoke to a friend, I'm one of the editors on BTT, and he said it hasn't been color corrected yet, so maybe that's why it looks so muted. But like, it was looking kind of like the WB prevents the Avengers. Presents the <laughs> Avengers. It looked like either that or a Mark Wahlberg movie. You know, like generic Mark Wahlberg movie. I can movie. see what you're saying. It's what I was afraid of, bringing all these different tones of these characters into one movie. I, I'm looking at the, you know, these, these gritty streets and how they're blowing up cars and everything, and then here comes Thor wearing this big red ass cape, and I'm like, okay, it, you know, as I'm with it right now, but it is just not looking like it's well, meshing it's too tough. well. Well, it's tough, and also, you know, you don't want them to look like Halloween costumes. I mean, some of the costumes I think work, are working better than others, uh, and also in one of the shots of the trailer, you can see the seam on Thor's cape. <laughs> can, you know, you yeah, can, you can like see the tag. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna return it after the fight. He's like, I don't need <laughs> Walmart, extra large, store yeah, costume. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, storm costume. He's like, oh, it fits, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, so that's my concern. And also, that's another good point. If you have so many different styles, do they just all cancel each other out, and you just have like generic superhero look? Yeah, yeah. My number one, I want to see great interaction with these characters. Yes. I want them to not only become. You know, what I want to see is, I want to see them clash as personalities. We saw a little bit. I a liked little, that. Little bit, yeah. A little bit of that in the trailer. You know, our, you know, Iron Man, Tony Stark coming to Captain America. You don't, don't be coming here with your little pretty ass talking trash to me. I, I know. I'm a pimp. Yeah. You know? My movie's about gross yours. Like, of course. Yeah. Like, don't yeah. Even... <laughs> You know, I like that. You got like the billionaire playboy versus the guy who has the, who's the ultimate patriot. Well, I hope Cap is in a wet blanket, though, in the whole movie, being well, like, you all suck. The 1940s were better. No, I don't think so. And then you just got, like, uh, Thor sitting around just laughing. Like, I loved that. <laughs> Look at these two assholes here. You know, I just, loved it. It was yeah. so funny. Well, this segues into my number two. Uh-oh. All right. Okay. I would like not only for the heroes to be well-developed, but the villains. The villains. Yes, because I want Loki to be badass. I do, too. Not, not whine and be like, it's my turn. And I don't want him to be a pawn of the aliens, either. Where they're just like, oh, Loki, you didn't know. Ha-ha. You know? Yeah. Yeah, Lo Loki, I, I mean, I, I liked that actor. Me I too. I forgot his name. I've seen that oh, actor. Oh, Tom Hiddleston. Tom, yeah, I've seen him in, like, Midnight in Paris, and I've seen him come out oh, in Oh, it's his movie. time. He's in yeah. War Horse. He's gonna, I, yeah. I think that guy's a great actor, but the last thing I was expecting was Loki. I was like, that, that's your villain for the Avengers? Loki? I don't even <laughs> like that name, okay? Loki, you know what I'm saying? Man, you a hoe just because of that name, that's okay? You know? I don't, but, yeah, I, but I'm hoping that... They have found something really badass with that character where they said, okay, to make this character not only a believable villain, but a, a villain that is a foe worthy enough of a team of great superheroes, well, he is a true badass. Well, the rumor is, is that it's taking off at the very first Avengers story where Loki controlled the Hulk and made him turn evil. Although maybe he's controlling everybody because in the trailer there's like this Cap versus Thor fight. I don't know. I, that, okay, see, now that would be kind of cool if they could have, actually have him be that manipulative. I mean, because again, yeah. you know, as Keith's coming in and how's he getting at the team? He's breaking a team apart that's already kind of not getting along with each other. Yeah. So my number two, mm -hmm. and this is where I think people see me as a very open-minded and fair person. Okay. I'm looking forward to the Avengers becoming like an, an unpredicted gay sensation. <laughs> 
I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking for the, the Avengers to be playing in gay clubs and when the video comes out and everything because... They're like the village people. Yeah, I mean, you got, okay, you got at least two pretty so you, boys. So, wait a minute, you movie. want this to happen in the movie? Oh, no, not in the movie. I want, no, I don't want to be in the movie. I want this to, like, be the reception afterwards. That's my, <laughs> that's my number okay. two. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So, for my number three, also, again, I like how we always build on each other. Yes. Okay, I'm going to build on your number two. Okay. And I'm going to say that I hope that this finally makes people understand that comic books are awesome and they've moved beyond like the bam and the kapow and like you should go pick up a comic book. Everyone I talk to who doesn't read comic books thinks it's still like the Batman TV show, the Adam West show. Mm -hmm. that, mo that show did more to hurt comics than anything on the face of the earth. So hopefully people will be like, that was a damn good movie. Yeah, to my okay? iPod or my iPad and, and <laughs> download stuff. And they'll be like, oh, I'm gonna get this new Avengers co uh, comic. Is it my number three? You are, yes, I'm all done, I'm wrapped, my list is full. How okay. about you? I'm looking at this trailer and I'm thinking, I, I'm not crazy about Mark Ruffalo. No. Um, uh, I, I'm not saying he's gonna be bad. When I see him in the movie, he probably would be great. He's but just I'm, got to strike against him because he's not Edward Norton. They, the Edward Norton was great because Edward Norton was, he looked like a, you know, like a skinny scientist. And I look at Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo, he looks, I mean, he looks like he's on the he's like, He like wandered into the lab. He's yeah. like a jock who's like, what's going on in here? Yeah, he looks like he just stepped <laughs> off the cover of GQ and just like, hey, there's a, there's a lab over here. Which is one thing I don't like about Mark Ruffalo. I think that visually, he's like repetitive of some of the other stuff going on in the movie. I think mm -hmm. that, you know, Edward Norton would have that different look. That's what they needed amongst all this style and all these guys with all this charisma. <laughs> Somewhere Ed, no, Edward Norton's watching this and he's like, hey. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the uh, I'm, sorry, I'm talking about Bruce Banner, Edward. Oh, okay. I'm not talking about you. We want like a charisma-less, unattractive, skinny Let, guy. No, let's not forget <laughs> that uh, uh, Edward Norton uh, curse stumped a black man one time. So, you know, uh, I'm not. Well, no uh, one likes Edward Norton. That's why he's not doing this because everyone was like, oh, we don't like working with you because he was like a big, he was really difficult on The, on the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, no, I understand. And, I, and I, if they couldn't get him back, that's fine. So, trailer. Yes. Parting thoughts. What are your overall thoughts when you saw the Avengers trailer? Gay. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I, what, okay. Parting thoughts. Yeah. What were you just like? I got goosebumps. I, I was. I'm. I'm so excited to see this movie. I'm very excited. I preferred the teaser to the trailer because mm -hmm. I liked the music better on the teaser, and it got me more excited for like what was going to happen. But I'm very excited. I think the Avengers is definitely going to be a major. Major event, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, and chocolate's awesome, and you know, <laughs> Saturdays are great. I mean, like, these are all obvious things. All right, okay, all right, so those are our three things, right? So please write down the three things that you want to see out of the Avengers when it comes out next year. Time to make it real. Everybody